circuit. Not only did she become, and without a doubt, the greatest forms and weapons champion of all time, but she became one of the greatest film stars of this generation. She's a lovely woman, a beautiful person, but she can also fight like ten wild banshees and eat you up and spit you out. As Sammy Davis Jr. used to say, this is the coolest cat you'll ever meet. <laughs> so today, May 14, 2016, friends, students, family, and martial arts peers gather together to celebrate the life of a true legend. Today is Cynthia Rothrock Day! Cynthia Rothrock Day is a time the museum sets aside to honor someone unique from the martial arts community. Someone who has made an impact on other people's lives. It has been noted to me on many occasions that when someone passes away and we all say these wonderful things about that person, no one is going to hear it. You know, they're not going to hear it at all. So this is a time, while they are still with us, that we say thank you for the journey, thank you for the impact they made on each of our lives. Now, it is through your financial support that enabled the museum to begin to keep the history, those monumental achievements alive for future generations. A quick history, the museum began in 1999. We were a traveling exhibit. We went all over the country. We landed in Santa Clarita in 2006 and relocated here in 2011. So this is our 17th year in existence. Mm. So yay. Uh, the museum is not just a place filled with artifacts, but it's a place filled that opens new doors of opportunity. With thousands of kids coming to the museum every year, they learn about its art, his, its history, and what the martial arts has to offer. With workshops on Asian languages, CPR courses, seminars on martial arts history, drawing classes, history lessons, and more, the museum creates a platform of different art forms. The museum receives visitors from all over the world. It's a place of learning, understanding about different cultures and the influence the martial arts has made throughout the world. Imagine having a large facility, a 200-seat theater, a digital library, a seminar area. The museum provides a home for the martial arts. It's about time, right? <laughs> it's about time we had a home. You know, we're in a small space, but in time it's going to get a big place. So we're still in talks, but in time we'll get a big place. So I ask for your support so that many of the accomplishments that were made that paved our way won't be forgotten. This is it. You know, the, you know there won't be another opportunity. This is our only opportunity. No one else has done it. No one else has sacrificed so much. This is our only opportunity. If this fails, that's it. So everybody continue to come on board, spread the word, tell everybody about us. All it takes is a few big guys to come along as well and help us get to the next level. Now, before we begin, I want to acknowledge a few people, uh, especially our Hall of Famers. We're very glad to have uh, the man of disaster, the King of Sting, Mr. James Delu. Where is Mr. James? There he is, right there. Can't see any of the Hall of Famers. Very good. So thank you very much. James has uh, been in many, many movies. So you've seen him in uh, Big Trouble in Little China and everything else. So very well known. Thank you, James, for being here. So what we're going to have take place today, uh, we'll do our introduction. That's what I'm doing, talking a little bit right now. We'll do a presentation of the museum certificate. We'll do our first uh, life video collage of Cynthia Rothrock. We'll read her biography. We'll play the second video. And then we'll uh, toast her a little bit. I don't say roast, we toast her a little bit. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, you know. Let's do no both. bad stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> and then we'll bring um, anybody who wants to come on up and say a few words, can say a few words. And then we'll bring up Cynthia herself. So all this will take about what? Four hours, right? Four hours. No, just kidding, no, four hours. 